Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, we are going to proceed uh, last part in chapter 4. Previously, we have learned about indexing rule and we also have learned about the cross-referencing. So, now we are going to proceed to the last part which is the alphabetic records management before we proceed to chapter 5. Okay. So, in chapter 4, you need to know how to define the alphabetic correspondent file. So, it is a collection of letters, memorandums and related documents received or written arranged in alphabetic order. Okay, so we file alphabeti uh, alphabetically by three methods, geography, location, subject or name. So, let's proceed one by one. Geographic method, we are going to learn this one in 5.2. Subject method, we are going to learn about the subject method in 5.3 and also the name method. So, geographic method is method of storing and retrie retrieving records alphabetically first by location, then individual, next organization and project or project. So, the subject method is method for classifying uh, coding and filing records first by subject and then by individual organization or project and lastly the name method is a collection of letters and memorandum received or written and arranged in alphabetical order by name okay next one okay so you need to know this one are the correspondent filing equipment. What are the correspondent filing equipment and what is the correspondence? So the documents, letter, all the written one is we know as a, we know as a correspondent. Okay, so we have the top access. This is an example of the top access. When you open the drawer, you will see the names of the file uh, through the top access, side access. And also top or site access equipment. So there are only three corresponding filing equipment. So let's go uh, in detail one by one of this equipment. The first one, top access equipment. You are familiar with the one, uh, this one when you go to the HEA or HEP or also to the administrative department. Okay. So top access file storage is a file equipment that contains record stored vertically on each and drop into or lifted up or and out for storage and retrieval. So vertical file, the most familiar and most used storage equipment for business correspondent. So most organization, most uh, public agency, they're using the vertical, which is the top access equipment. So have pull out drawers. You can pull out the drawers to hold the business paper in a front to back vertical arrangement. So this will be equipped by compressor, which is the follower, movable support place behind guides and folder and allow contraction or expansion of the drawer contents and to hold records in vertical position. Okay, so this is the first one. And the second one, yes, you are familiar with this one. Okay, uh, you can see this type of uh, equipment in the library. Okay, but in our office organization, we uh, we call it as a site access equipment. Okay, so this equipment store records vertically with access from the site. So shelf or shelf file is site access file consisting of horizontal open self, similar to open book self. Okay, so open book self you are familiar with this one in the library. So folder are placed upright on the shelf in a side by side arrangement and access from the side. So you have sliding wire and metal support to keep the folders upright. So recommended for record professional because the first one it requires less as uh, as a space and then it provide maximum use of wall space and lastly it provide handy open site access to the folder okay so this is the second filing equipment and the last one is the combination of top or site access equipment 
So this one, uh, this one combine both features, vertical and the shelf file. So lateral file cabinet provide the same top access drawer filing as the vertical file cabinet. It's the same as uh, the top access. Okay, folder can be placed upright, side by side arrangement in the shelf file. So less as uh, eyes. Uh, uh, isol space is required what use for record storage okay so there are the three filing equipment okay top access side access and lastly top side SAS equipment okay so now we are going to proceed to the examining correspondent filing supplies what are the correspondent filing supplies Okay, usually supplies commonly used for paper record, we are using the first one, the guide. The second one is the folder. Okay, and we have one type of folder which is suspension, which is hanging folder. The third one we have uh, tab, we have tab card and tab position. We have label number four, we have drawer label, we have a shelf label, we have guide label and also folder label. And lastly is the caption. Okay. So this one is example. Uh, this is the label. Okay, this is a uh, uh, top SS. Okay, uh, this is the label on the top SS. When we open the drawer, okay, you can see this one. This is a tab. This is the primary guide. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, when you see the word out, this is out guide. Someone is borrowing the document or the paper. So you are going to learn this one in chapter six. Okay, so you can take a look on this one. So let's go one by one. Guide. What is a guide? A guide is a divider used to identify a section in a file and to facilitate reference to a particular location. So this one is made of durable press board material to sustain heavy use and to help support the folders in the file. So uh, there are tab available on the top size, whether a top tab guide for top access filing or a side tab guide for side access filing okay so this is example of the guide you can see this one this is what we call uh, for the drawer file okay when the, we are using the filing equipment of top access we will use this kind of guide and when we use the side access we are going to use this kind of uh, guide okay number b okay this one is for top access this one is for the side access <coughs> Next is folder. Yes, I do believe you have your own folder. So what is folder? The definition of folder is a sheet of heavy heavy paper, usually manila, scored and folded in half to hold the papers. So for, uh, plastic folders come in a variety of colors, more expensive but more durable and reusable. So the placement of guides and folder in file drawer or shelf make guide and folder tabs easily visible. So, uh, it is available in different, which is tap, uh, tap cuts and position. Tap cuts, it depends on the width, okay? Uh, now, we go to the next one, is suspension holder. Uh, this, one, uh, this one is quite familiar uh, to put your x-ray. If you see in the uh, any hospital, especially in the x-ray department, you can see this, uh, you, they put the x-ray result uh, uh, with the suspension or the hanging folder. Okay, so what are the advantages? So the advantages is no compressor are needed in the drawer to hold the records upright. And the second one, it reduces the folder set or in other words, drop and hand down. Okay. Next, we proceed to the next one is number three is tab. So tab is a projection beyond the top of the main body of the guide upon which an identifying label is attached. So the tab cut is uh, with width in other words tebal okay uh, that the tab occupies in relation to the total width of the guide and then tab position is the location of the tab on the guide so let's take a look on this one what is the difference between tab card and tab position okay so now this is uh, in the file drawer we can see this one straight cut this is one third cut this is one fifth cut okay you have five okay and then for this one uh, for the open self this one is for the the first one top access this is the side access okay you have this one tap uh, cut okay uh, this one and the full cut okay 
label. Yes, you need to do the labeling on the drawer. Okay, device containing the name of the contents of a folder, drawer or container. So, when you are do, do your labeling, not just on the folder, but also on the drawer or the container. So, that you know what is the contents of that file folder or the contents of that drawer. So, you have drawer label, shelf label, guide label and also folder label. Lastly is the caption. What is caption? It's the content identifying information on labels, anything written, type or printed on the tab or tab label. Okay. So, how to arrange guide and folder? So, the first one you arrange according to the straight line filing. So, the guide tab and folder tabs occupy single horizontal position that are readable in a straight line from the front to the back of the file. This one, straight lining is preferred. Why? Because the eye scans in the straight line. Our eyes, we take a look on the straight line. Okay, folders are added and deleted with no disruption to the file arrangement. Okay, and then commonly arranged in staggered pattern in vertical storage equipment because it was thought to provide for easier reading caption. And then the guide arrangement. So, for the guide arrangement, you need to know we have only two. The first one is the primary guide and the second one is the secondary guide. So, alphabetic, guide, uh, alphabetic guides are the major file division and considered the primary guide in the alphabetic correspondent. But, the secondary guides are special name guides and special subject guides in the field alphabetically. Okay, there are sub uh, subdivision of primary alphabetic guide they follow. Okay, next one, we still continue on the guide arrangement. You need to know that the folders container used to hold and a protect records. Okay, uh, we have learned before what is folder. So, you need to know there are three uh, folder, general folder, the individual folder and the special folder. So, a general folder holds records to and from corresponding with a small volume of records. Individual folder, on the other hand, holds records for an individual correspondent. And a special folder follows a special guide. Next one, receiving and filing documents. So, the important part for this one, you need to know two uh, what we call terms. The first one is timestamp and the second one is release mark. Okay, timestamp, you have learned this one in chapter 3. When you receive any inward correspondent, you will chop, you will stamp timestamp. Okay, when you re uh, receive the record, uh, the correspondent and the time. Okay, so after mail is timestamp, it is sorted according to the recipient's name or department and delivered to them. Okay, timestamp. The next one, okay, this is really smart. What is really smart? Again, really, really smart is agreed upon mark placed on record showing that the record is ready for the storage. So, for example, when we receive any new uh, correspondent and then this correspondent must be uh, taken action by a person and then that person has completed, we need uh, and then you can do, uh, you can do the really smart so that uh, you uh, that document or that correspondent are ready to be stored or ready to be filed in a folder. Okay, so mark is made on the letter by a secretary or person who originally received the letter. So the initial are written in the upper left part of original letter. So initial is your initial. Uh, if you are the secretary or you are the one who in charge the letter. Okay, so this is uh, the filing correspondent. Okay, you need to know uh, you have inspecting, indexing, coding, pre-coding, preparing, cross-reference, sorting and filing. So, you have learned about indexing, you have learned about cross-referencing. Okay, this is uh, for your readings. Last but not least, the need for storage supplies and equipment. You need to know what are the factors for you to select filing supplies and equipment. Okay, the first one you need to know that kind of records to be filed and control. So, what kind of records that you are going to file actually? Okay, the second one, the frequency of use of each kind of record during the day. 
the third one is number of people working uh, at file at one time is there is one person so easy for you to do uh, the filing uh, supplies and equipment and then the volume of records to be handled in a given period of time next one is the method of filing best suited the handling of the record okay next is type of charge out you are going to learn about charge out in chapter 6 and follow up system use and the next one is transfer method use so there are two types of transfer method you need to know which one you are going to use and the next one is security and retention requirement of the record and lastly the uh, sorry and uh, the second last is the organization and distribution of the record and lastly the manner or of retrieving records okay so this is uh, what we call the equipment supplies this is how uh, you uh, you do uh, supplies and equipment storage supplies okay this one is put in the box okay you can see this is the example okay uh, and next is availability uh, availability of storage supplies and if uh, equipment okay so storage equipment commonly used for paper record we are using vertical file cabinet shelf file lateral file cabinet stub file suspension file carousel file and high density file mobile shelf file so if you want to take a look in detail the uh, example or the picture of this one you can just google and browse each of this one but again for filing equipment we only uh, learn three which is the top ss side ss and also the top all side ss okay next the cost of storage supplies and equipment so the cost benefit analysis is the process of determining the relative advantages and disadvantages of alternative solution to a problem so this one will help you prepare a cost justification for an anticipated change in supplies equipment and procedures you just not do the storage supply equipment you need to plan first and you need to know what are the costs for each uh, storage supplies and equipment so timely reminder that a business aspect a fair return on the dollar it invests okay uh, how about other record so what happened when you have other type of record so many other type of record that must be held under control program because they are vital to the successful operation of a department or entire organization so for example is the catalog and directories large and odd size record and also the mixed media okay okay so let's go one by one what is catalog and directories okay so catalog and directories are representative of type of reference material used by many business industrial and service operation yes mostly uh, company organization that have the selling the product okay they are using the catalogs and directories okay uh, active record rotary filing units okay uh, this one is more easily allow easy access to the record and lastly mark and file according to the firm number name and or a number firm num a firm name number and as well as the subject so this is the first one okay of the what we call storing other record next is large and odd size record okay so this one include blueprint okay blueprint in other words is the what we call the blueprint blueprint of an organization the building itself okay the maps tracing duplicate plate stencil forms and computer printouts okay so this bulky record requires specific filing equipment such as flat file or suspension file usually uh, the blueprint for any building is quite big it's so large okay and last one the mixed media so filing equipment in which a combination of records media is stored in one location so this one is available of color size and configuration okay so that's it uh, for additional information for chapter 4 so thank you